I can't see. Good afternoon, everybody. Good morning in the West and good afternoon in the East. Thank you so much for joining me today for this um, urgent webcast. Um, those of you who were at the Dublin Summit or who were following us online will know that um, something that was discussed often and with increasing concern and anxiety was the Ebola crisis. And delegates in Dublin held an Ebola walk and march at the end of the summit to help raise awareness. Shortly before that, we had received a letter from Mr. Kofi Annan, former Secretary General of the United Nations and a one young world councillor, asking everybody um, in governments to step up their um, funding of and their personnel and resource aid to the countries in Africa who've been hit by this terrible disease. So Bob Geldof is the first one young world councillor in 2010. And he particularly this year in Dublin focused um, many of his messages around the Ebola crisis, making the point that this terrible thing had struck where governments don't have sufficient money to provide the doctors and nurses that are needed to contain this disease, which now in a country like Sierra Leone, this disease is present and killing people in every single province of Sierra Leone. So, um, so Bob is just currently um, due to announce in London that um, he has um, taken up the battle again on behalf of everyone in the world to help with raising funds um, for these governments and for the aid agencies that are out there in West Africa helping people um, to, to contain and hopefully to survive this, this terrible thing. So um, Bob is, as he did 30 years ago, touched by the famine in Ethiopia. Bob is um, relaunching, if you like, or continuing the work of Band-Aid. And there will be a new uh, music track, a new single recorded by Band-Aid called Band-Aid 30. Um, this is a really exciting thing. I know that all of our ambassadors and delegates were born um, when the first Band-Aid single was, um, was, was launched, do they know it's Christmas? But you've heard me often talking about Sir Bob at the One Year World Summit and saying how he really changed the world we live in by using art, which as he says, you could see as a little thing, he used, he's used art to, to do giant things. So here's just another example of, of Bob using everything he has to help out with the crisis. So um, if you take a look at the Mail Online, which is one of the most viewed websites in the world, you'll see the link there to Sir Bob talking about the Ebola crisis at the One Year World Summit in Dublin. And today, if you search um, on the One Year World website um, from an hour's time, you will find links to um, all the links that you need for Band-Aid 30. So the important things are these. Um, if you remember, well, you weren't alive, some of you, but the first Band-Aid single and indeed um, the re-record of that Band-Aid single um, in 2008 for Live 8, the successful um, G8 summit there, um, you'll know that these, these singles are made up of a compilation of artists and really one of the only people in the world who can do that successfully is Sir Bob because when Bob calls an artist and says um, I need your help to take part in this single the chances are really good that even if they have to say no to other people when it's Sir Bob on the phone they say yes um, so the lineup for this year's um, for this band 830 single is just completely incredible so first thing to understand is this um, when that single is launched, you will be able to download it, to buy it, um, and all of the money is going directly to Band Aid and directly from there to the Ebola hit areas. Um, and that's 
the band-aid way of working the funds as i understand it i think i heard um last night um, are likely to be raised on a Virgin Money platform because Virgin Money agreed to take no commission at all. And of course, the trustees of the charity at Band Aid, of course, are, are people who are completely unpaid. So you can be sure that however much or however little you give, even if it's just 50 cents, it's going to go and help somebody. So that's the, um, that's about the single. You can also donate, obviously. I certainly will be, personally will be doing that, as I'm sure many of you will be. But I think the really important thing is this from one in world perspective, is that we never come to you, we at One Young World, myself or David Jones, we don't come to you to ask you to do any kind of charitable support or giving because we know that all of you all over the world, all 5,000 of our ambassadors are doing a huge amount of work on your own charities, your own projects in your own right. And the reason that we are supporting this and asking every single one of you to support it is because all of you in Dublin were so concerned about Ebola yourself. So we thought this would be, you would be glad that this was something tangible we can all actually do. Plus the fact that um, whenever, and it doesn't happen often, but when we are asked by Sir Bob, please to give support to something, we would never ever say no. So um, there's going to be the single, so as I say, um, those of you who weren't in Dublin or maybe haven't seen Sir Bob talking about the Ebola crisis at One Young World, please go to the mail online. But many of you um, and many people who attend One Young World and many of you in your companies have Twitter handles or websites or Facebook pages that are able to reach hundreds of thousands and in some instances millions of people. So um, we have um, around 100,000 followers on Twitter, so we'll be using the one on Twitter account to this effect. Of course we will. But some of you have got even more than that. So we need everybody to get behind One Young World for Band-Aid 30 um, and, and really get on board and support. And, and I would like to think that you would all be able to tell Sir Bob that you yourselves were One Young World ambassadors for Band-Aid 30 for the Ebola crisis. So please, everything you can do, all of the awareness raising that you can do, all of your Twitter, all of your Facebook, everything you can possibly do, we need you to do. Now, the really exciting thing is in that lineup of artists are going to be Sir Bob himself, obviously, Bono, and you saw Bono's wife, Ali Houston, at One Young World in Dublin. Um, Chris Martin from Coldplay, who so kindly gave us the Viva La Vida track, which we used for nearly nearly three years he's going to be recording and also um adele and among many ed sheeran and among many other artists um the band which today in the world probably has the biggest following and certainly the biggest online following one direction so everybody please get this out if you've got friends that are fans of one direction please let them know i know that it's starting to trend on twitter but I hope that you will feel here is something we can all do. The single will be out next week. But whenever you want to know something, please just go to the One Young World website or Facebook page or check in with the One Young World team. You know all of them. They will have increasingly, they will have more and more information about this um, huge initiative being brought together by our wonderful first One Young World councillor, Sir Bob Geldof. So please, everybody, do everything you can, big things, little things, to let Sir Bob know that in every country in the world there is a One Young World ambassador for Band Aid 30. Okay? So let's see you on Facebook. I'll see you on Twitter. I'll see you on the website. Um, and hope to see lots and lots and lots of you. Please take this up. Um, all my love, support One Young World, Band Aid 30. Speak soon. Bye now. <laughs>